up, guys? So we've been rocking and rolling with the late 50s, oh, early good. 60s lately, and it's been so much fun. But if you're new here, welcome to the ride. You're here at Rob Squad Reactions with your girl, Amber. And your boy, Jay. And it started, I want to say, like three or four days ago, we had got back into the Everly Brothers after we haven't revisited them in a long, mm -hmm. long time. And we're like, man, we need to stay here in, the, in, in this, you know, 50s, 60s kind of decade for a little bit. And then you guys gave us yesterday. At the hop, which yes. I went down. Um, I love, love the comments on the 50s. Danny and the Juniors. Videos. Yes. And uh, actually, it at the hop was actually a dance. It was called so the So it was hop. a dance. Yes, okay. it was like a high school dance back then. Yeah, I love reading the comments on there. And I actually saw the diamond suggested quite a bit in that reaction. So today we're checking out. Yeah, ring it. No artist. I was looking <laughs> today for Today we're it. checking out. Little darling, I'm excited for it. The, the oldies are fun, especially like yesterday, like what you call the soda pop shop. But what's it make you want to see? And I'm You're glad we found dance. out that it was, in fact, a dance. So we, we were trying to figure that out like, is it a place? Was it yeah, a dance? Yeah, the but, comments in that video were a lot of fun. I love like hearing you guys reminisce about uh, your parents' sense of the song or the first time you heard this song and just being played at your school dance. I don't know, it makes me smile. But if y'all are new, hey, don't leave here without liking this video, subscribing down below, and turning on that post notification bell. Let's check out Little Darlin' by the Diamonds from 57. Look at the drive-in. My grandpa was only seven years old at the <laughs> time. This. That man, goodness. Let's check it out. I'm excited for this one. Definitely unlike anything that yeah, we sure. have heard before. I feel like when we, you most time when we go back, it's either, you know, amazing love songs mm -hmm. or we'll get a soda pop shop. Yeah. This is completely new. I know. It's fallen into like, uh, like with the 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 fa -la -la -la, like the cool sound it in the has back, cool parts and then like at it. the beginning, the delivery of it, I was gonna say like you know, it gives me like Elvis vibes. It's kind of like, uh, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just the delivery of it was really really cool. And then now we get here into this like really really deep voice, but also I'm catching a very white type of voice. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys, I, my my throat's a little scratchy today, but. Also, I'm catching uh, little American graffiti things, and you guys have been really wanting us to watch that movie a lot. I saw that a lot in the at the Hop uh, mm -hmm. reaction yesterday, and it looks like we're getting a little bit of glimpses of like photographs from it here too. Let's go ahead and get back. Please hold my hand. That my lover was just for you. That was cool. Yeah, that was so cool. And then, like, I'm sorry, I was looking at some of the oh, pictures. Uh, let me go and play it. Sorry. The pictures like, of the 50s, like the cars, oh, everything is because so... Because I love glimpses into mm. the past. And there's a picture of my grandparents. You guys, I remember I told you my grandma, uh, this would have been their time too, was like a six foot Irish redheaded woman. And he was like a five four five five German. Uh, they were leaned up against a car like that. I'll share that picture with you guys one day if I can find it. But 
Guys, that was another song that was a lot of fun, but it was different, but it still felt like it was so 50s. It was different, but like it even had parts in it where like, okay, like, like, it makes you want to dance in it. It had, <laughs> had little kind of funny, quirky little parts in it that was really cool as well. Like I said, guys, we're, we're falling in love again with the 50s and the 60s. You know, we, I want to say like seven or eight months ago, I felt like we were hitting it hard. And then, yeah. we, then we kind of got away from it a little bit. But now it's time to come back, especially because it started with the, the Everly Brothers. Yeah. So I am absolutely all for, you know, staying in this little decade for a yeah. while. Yeah, so for me, you're right. Like, this song for the 50s was very, very quirky. But it takes me back to when we watched Grease. And we were laughing at the scene where his delivery was like, he got a really high voice for a minute. And then his delivery was like kind of uh, what we talked about, kind of gave like that Elvis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so it's funny that we get to kind of see like, oh, okay, that that scene that we didn't quite understand, like where the musical taste came from. We were like shocked at first, like, oh, okay, this is where it came from. This this is one of those quirky, like you know, the the fun vocals in the back, the the fun vocals in the front. You know, it was one see, of those. And, and we talked about it yesterday in the video, but like when you have older groups like this, fifties. Like, they had three or four guys, and one guy would be singing, another guy would be hitting, almost like the a cappella tone. Well, I, I like, believe like They would each be hit, hitting different notes. Well, yesterday, I think that you guys, uh, gosh, I read so many comments. Did you guys call them a quartet? Um, yeah. This, and this would be another example, and that's what one thing that's really fun to me about the 50s is how they, like, really utilize just four different voices. Simple instruments, but the voices just carried their own and did the, the in their own right and kept everything going and had moments like this in this song where it was like really quirky and unique. Like I said, we had that fa la la voice was really up high and we had someone who was talking to us in like the monster mash voice. You know <laughs> the, the monster, monster mash, mash voice. That's yeah. The, it was like that deep, just very, very different than any of the other three voices that we've heard. And so that's why like with this decade how they really utilize just the four different voices is so interesting to me because I like I said it's so creative there wasn't oh, anybody who sure. was doing things before them this was like all off the top right so Everly <coughs> Brothers we did Danny and the Juniors and then today we had the Diamonds guys drop down some of the best and top you know groups or artists from those late 50s or you go even early 50s guys we would love to check out some more and kind of stay in this this little area but as we always send you guys out of here every day, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. And remember, every single day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members to hit the subscribe button down below, we welcome you guys to the RSR family. But y'all will go every single day just like we do. Let them know. Guys, you've got to make somebody smile. And I'm going to get a drink of water so you guys don't have to hear me cough for the next video. Sorry. <laughs> we love y'all. We'll see you guys later.